Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the Senate on Tuesday challenged a ruling by a federal high court in Abuja, barring it from re-amending the Electoral Act 2022, recently signed by President Muhammadu Buhari. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, during plenary on Tuesday, said the judiciary cannot stop the National Assembly from performing its constitutionally assigned duties. Recall that the Federal High Court, in a ruling delivered by Justice Iyang Ekwo, specifically barred the National Assembly, President Muhammad Buhari, and other defendants in a suit instituted by the People's Democratic Party from removing Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act or preventing it from being implemented for the purpose of the 2023 general elections. At number four, the People's Democratic Party in Oshun State have elected two governorship candidates at the party's parallel primaries for the July 16 governorship election in the state. At one of the primaries held at the Oshobo City Stadium on Tuesday under the supervision of Deputy Governor of Bayosa State, Lawrence Erujakbo, former Senator Ademola Adeleke was declared the winner. While at another primary held at the Women and Children Development Initiative Foundation Oshobo, Dotun Babayemi was declared winner. At number three, the federal government has so far released the sum of 10.06 billion naira to speed up the construction of the presidential wing of the State House Clinic, Aso Villa Abuja. The permanent secretary, State House, Tijani Omar, disclosed this while addressing members of the Senate Committee on Federal Character and Intergovernmental Affairs who were on oversight inspection of the ongoing project on Tuesday in Abuja. The meeting was held to review the financial status of the project, scheduled to be completed by December. At number two, a Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of the First Criminal Investigations Department, Joseph Egbunike, is dead. Egbunike reportedly slumped and died in his office in Abuja in the late hours of Tuesday. The first CID head, who hailed from Onicha, Anambra State, led the special investigation panel constituted by the Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Kali Baba, to investigate the suspended head of the Police Intelligence Response Team, Abakari, over money laundering allegations. The Nigeria Police Force is yet to formally announce the death of the DIG, as of the time this report was filed. At number one, the People's Democratic Party has submitted replacements for Ebony State Governor David Umayi and his deputy Kelechi Igwe following their removal from office by the Federal High Court in Abuja on Tuesday. PDP appointed Iduma Igariwe, a member of the House of Representatives, as the replacement for Umayi, while Fred Udogu was appointed to take the place of Igwe. Recall that on Tuesday, the court sacked the Ebony State Governor and his deputy following their defection from the PDP to the All Progressives Congress. However, Umayi has remained defiant, saying he remains the governor of the state, despite the court order. He urged the people of the state to remain calm, as he was sure of quashing the ruling at the appeal court. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.